Hi, thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, today I will talk about the cyber libel case filed by the Vice Mayor of Pasig City, uh, Vice Mayor Bernardo, against the Mayor of Pasig City, Vico Soto. To give a background of the story, uh, last January 11, there was a flag ceremony at the uh, Pasig City Hall. Uh, apparently, the Vice Mayor was absent and the Mayor, Vico Soto, made some statements about the character of the vice mayor. Again, this was stated in a physical presence, in a physical state, or a, in um, a live setting in the uh, flag ceremony. But apparently, such a uh, flag ceremony was live streamed over the internet. And thus, the vice mayor, Vice Mayor Bernardo, filed a cyber libel case uh, based on the statements made by Vico Soto against him. I will not dwell on whether the charges will stick or whether the actual statements were indeed defamatory because that's up to the courts to decide. I will touch then on whether the statements made in a live stream is considered cyber libel. To begin with, uh, in, in the simplest sense, uh, libel is saying bad things to dishonor somebody through the printed word. That was back in the 1930s, in the 40s, and that's why sometimes when something is printed in the newspaper or in a magazine, uh, the one who is hurt or felt dishonored would sue the author of the piece or author of the article and the newspaper itself. But because of the recent technology and in these modern times, there is uh, no one says things in newspapers anymore. People say things in social media, people say things in you know their posts, whether it be Twitter, uh, Facebook, or other social media platforms. To define what defamatory is, it's basically subjective to each and every person. Calling yourself uh, bold could be defamatory if you had no hair. Uh, calling somebody lazy, calling somebody incompetent may not be considered defamatory to him. Maybe he takes it as a compliment. So therefore, what is defamatory is basically one has to prove uh, that those words were dishonorable. I will talk about whether what Vico said in the manner in which he said it versus being it cyber libel. Now, for its for cyber libel to uh, prosper, the defamatory statements or defamatory words must be stated with the aid of a computer. And such statements aided by the computer are broadcast or placed in the internet for everybody to see. Now, in my opinion, I think for cyber libel to stake or to prosper, the statements made must be with the intention of putting it online. Were the statements made by uh, Pasig City Mayor Vico Soto online? That's debatable. What he did was say things live in a flag ceremony, not necessarily over the internet. Just because it was live streamed doesn't mean it's technically cyber libel. Unless Vico Soto or the mayor of Pasig City ordered it to be online anyway. But those are facts we don't know. And I cannot surmise whether that be true or not because all I know from the reports in the, in the news was the vice mayor sued or filed a case of cyber libel against Vico Soto based on the statements he made on a January 11th flag ceremony and it was broadcast over the internet. Being that the case was uh, filed during the election season and just a few days away from the local elections, the timing of it is for everybody to figure out. Thanks for watching the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe. It'll help me a lot and it'll give you five years of better luck.